सो गाइज एवरीबडी हैज हर्ड अबाउट द नेम फ्लैगशिप फोन्स एंड अ टिपिकल पर्सन काइंड ऑफ अज्यूम्स दैट द फ्लैगशिप फोन्स आर द स्मार्ट फोन्स दैट हैव लॉट्स ऑफ स्पेसिफिकेशन एंड द प्राइस टैग इज ऑल्सो रेडिक्युलस सो गाइज फॉर अ टिपिकल नॉर्मल कंज्यूमर ही कैनॉट बाय अ फ्लैगशिप लेवल फोन बिकॉज द प्राइस टैग इज यूजली टू मच सो गाइज इन माई टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोट बी डिस्कसिंग दैट वॉट आर दीज फ्लैगशिप फोन्स इन रियालिटी एंड ओवरऑल वाई दे आर वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट इन द overall perfection of a smartphone so without any further ado let's get started so guys if i have to explain that what is a flagship phone in simple words i will say that every single company spends lot of resources lot of research and development behind a particular series of smartphones take example of apple behind the iphone 11 pro and 11 pro max apple spends lots of money whereas on the other hand samsung spends lot of money on their note lineup and the samsung galaxy s lineup on the other hand oneplus also comes with the oneplus 8 and one plus 8 pro and google also comes with the google pixel 4 and 4 xl so all of these companies spend and invest lot of money and lot of resources towards a particular product they want to prove everybody that we are superior every company comes with a different version of the flagship phone like they introduce crazy features like 108 megapixel camera 100x space zoom like overall a notchless or a bezelless display and overall they try to come with the perfect version as they can so guys overall all of the companies try to invest or try to prove their mark in the market well guys these flagship phones are always way more expensive because they have all of the dream features like 108 megapixel camera a bezel less 120 hertz refresh rate super amoled display a great battery life beautiful build quality ip67 water rating fast charging and lots more so every single smartphone that tries to be a king in all of this aspects is called as a flagship phone so guys this doesn't mean that other small companies like redmi and realme don't come with flagship phones in fact the phone that i'm using is made by realme this is the realme x smartphone last year they launched it by saying that this is our first flagship phone so overall this phone is having the 48 megapixel primary camera a beautiful super amoled display and overall it is a flagship level smartphone so every single company tries to come with their version of a flagship phone it is not at all compulsory that flagship phones are made by the top manufacturers in fact companies like oppo vivo and all other companies try to bring a flagship level or a entry level flagship device so guys all of this flagship phones are good they are having crazy features and specifications but like every company spends lot of money and lots of resources behind this smartphone so after a couple of years of the smart phones later on the company takes all of this technology and tries to make a budget friendly package so they slightly enter into the mid range category take example of the iPhone 10 in 2017 apple launched a notch iphone which was giving users a beautiful bezel less kind of experience so every manufacturer started to come with a notch phone let that be a butt up notch a tear drop notch or any other type of punch hole so guys every company started to do like this factor and hence it became a smartphone trend and overall now you will see a tear drop notch in a smartphone that is below 10000 rupees even so overall the flagship level technology slowly comes to the mid range category and later on into the budget end category So guys last year OnePlus came with the 90 hertz refresh rate display so later on slowly and gradually the 90 hertz refresh rate became a standard now in India for the price tag of 15000 rupees you are getting a display that supports 90 hertz refresh rate so obviously whenever whenever a new technology comes in the market it becomes a trend so guys every year the smartphone trend changes in 2007 Apple launched the iPhone 2G from which every single smartphone manufacturer tried to make a touch screen smartphone and not a button phone in 2010 apple introduced the front facing camera so all of the manufacturers started copying that later on in 2013 apple launched the iphone 5s with touch id so all manufacturers started to copy that again in 2014 apple made the slimmest smartphone the iphone 6 was the slimmest smartphone at that time so all manufacturers started to go towards the slimmer 
smartphones and like as like that only in 2017 apple opted for a notch mechanism they wanted to make the 10th year anniversary very special so they opted for a literally bezel-less display so every single manufacturer started copy that the notch became a tube drop notch that might be a raindrop notch a bathtub notch or a punch hole so there was an evolution in terms of the notches but apple kind of did it at the first place so like this only now we are currently living in an era where the biggest trend is towards the camera technology and towards the display we are currently seeing like 120 hertz super super amulet display and also the cameras are getting way more incredible 108 megapixel sensors in your smartphone 100x space zoom is a serious technology well guys currently we are living in a period where the biggest focus is given to the battery life towards the camera towards the display and its refresh rate and towards the fast charging so all of these features are kind of important in 2020 who knows the next trend for 2021 and 2022 might be to embedded the front facing camera into the display so that there is no need for any punch hole no need for notch the front camera will be directly embedded inside the display very few amount of people plan to spend thousand dollars behind a smartphone for the majority they don't even imagine to spend such a great amount in fact i personally as a student my budget is kind of around twenty thousand rupees only so it is always good to see like what is happening in the flagship category let that be the samsung galaxy s20 ultra let that be the iphone 11 pro or any of the flagship phone like currently we are living in an era where 120 hertz refresh rate is common where 108 megapixel cameras are possible overall we are looking at bezel less displays and overall we are looking at a pretty much futuristic smartphone there is never a perfect smartphone always due to the competition the the technology keeps on changing so we will never have a perfect smartphone so guys in my today's video i wanted to say like majority of people don't want to spend thousand dollars behind a smartphone and literally there is no problem it is always good to have a look at what is happening in the flagship category because in a course of time after a couple of years the exact same technology with little bit perfection will be found in the mid-range category and later on in the budget end category so guys I in my today's video I wanted to conclude that flagship phones are very much important because of flagship phones we get to see beautiful specifications within our budget due to the flagship phones we like to imagine like what will be the future will there even be any perfect smartphone and overall because of this great competition in the smartphone industry we will never get to a point where there will be a perfect phone so we might see you know cameras going under the display we we will see displays that curve around like waterfall and overall we will never have a perfect phone but every single generation will be a better version than the earlier one so guys i hope that you have liked today's video and guys if you like to stay updated regarding apple's ecosystem then definitely consider subscribing to our channel and i will meet you with another beautiful video until then peace